Hello everyone and welcome back to Fernbus on the PS5. This has been a while, hasn't it, since we jumped in, but we've had a big update. So I thought we'd take a look at it. We're going to take a quick run between uh, uh, Beeritz and where are we going? Bordeaux. <laughs> I had a job to remember where we're going. Bordeaux, because I haven't unlocked Bordeaux, it looks like. So um, we're going to do that get another bus stop unlocked and just have a general look at what's going on with the patch. Uh, it was about 7 gig, this patch. So, it's a pretty decent sized patch. Now, there was a bus pack as well. So, I don't know if the bus was included in that. Uh, because sometimes that's the way DLC works, isn't it? Even if you don't buy the bus pack, you've got it on your system. Uh, and you just pay for the key to unlock it. So, it could have been... Anyway, I haven't got the official patch notes, but a few of you have been good enough to contact me and tell me um, what is in the patch. So we'll have a look at that once we get going. We'll just get everything set up, ready to go. As I say, this is Beeritz. Let's just double check. That's the parking brake off. We'll get the aircon set to something decent. Then we don't get any complaints from the passengers. So, yes, this is PS5. Um, I do have Fernbus, by the way, on the PC. And I do have access to the new Poland map on the PC. So if any of you are interested in having a look at that, let me know. Uh, and we'll fire it up on the PC and we'll, uh, we'll take a look. Um, I don't know when the Poland map will be coming to the console. I don't have any news on that. But um, once it hits PC, you would hope it will be coming to console fairly quickly. Anyway, let's just get out of the depot for now. Looks like we've got a bit of a traffic jam. We'll get to the first stop and then we'll get up to Bordeaux, which is a couple of hundred kilometres, I think. I may need to sneak out into this traffic, I think. I could go to the right. There's a kind of mini roundabout on the right. I could go to the right, go into the mini roundabout, get into the queue of traffic, but you know what? I'm going to stick the front end out and see if we can get in hopefully the traffic stops traffic behaving itself actually is one of the things that is meant to be improved in this patch so we'll see how that goes as we make this trip I'm in the Skyliner as well as you may have noticed right at the beginning when I was doing the intro I don't drive this very often, but there are trophies for driving certain amounts of uh, kilometres in the Skyliner, both day and night. And the good news is, if you are a trophy or achievement hunter, they seem to have been fixed. This is the second run that I've done since the patch. The first time I went in, I had four or five trophies just popped up straight away which were obviously owing to me, which weren't unlocking the first time round. Uh, the good news is though, um, if you do try it, uh, if there are any owing to you, they should pop straight up. So give it a try. I went from something like 40% of the trophies completed up to about 54%. So that's taken a long time, hasn't it, that? Anyway, uh, we have got... Uh, just around 17 kilometers to get to the first stop so we're going straight up to Bordeaux so this is our only passenger pickup today this taxi is going really slow should be easy to pick up the passengers though because we've, we've probably got a few people we need to reject um, but at least they're not going to come at us with multiple destinations. You don't need to remember, apart from the fact we're going to Bordeaux, you don't need to remember several destinations in your head once you're picking up the passengers. So that's good. Keep it nice and easy today for this. The traffic looks quite dense, doesn't it? I've still got it set to 75%. So... 75% looks pretty decent to me. Uh, one thing I do want to say, which I'm going to look at quite closely during this video, is that in the settings, you'll remember that um, on console, um, 
you used to be able to set your graphical settings at whatever suited your your system so on the ps5 i used to have everything up to pretty much up to ultra that in this patch has been taken away so now it's one setting fits all now i don't know if i like that or not um, but we're going to see if that affects us i have noticed I, I, a fir in the first run that I did, I, I noticed quite a little bit of popping in. Uh, you see shadows uh, from trees, etc., popping in and flashing. There's a lot of flashing. You can see it in the distance. To me, that seems a little bit more pronounced than it was before the patch. Although, I'm saying that I haven't been on firm bus in a couple of months, I would say, at this point. But I did have a quick look back on the channel at some of the previous videos and um, it doesn't it doesn't look as good to me the way it is now. Anyway, we'll reserve judgment on that as we go and have a look. Okay, we're approaching the first stop. Hopefully all the passengers are all in a good mood. The stop's just coming up now on the right hand side, so... Let's get these guys on board and then uh, we can be on our way. In fact, we've got quite a few takers. Let's get in neutral, get the parking brake on, doors open. Now, where's the luggage compartment? There it is. There's the luggage starting to fill. Okay, let's uh, go and talk to everybody. Uh, nope, don't want to press that. I want to log in. Let me just go up. There we go. Right, let's get uh, everybody on board. Corridor, that's easy. Hello, Corridor again. And over. Uh, yep, that's the wrong ticket. We're not going there. Bordeaux, yep. She can come with us. The twin sister, she can also come with us. This lady wants a ticket. Let's just look for Bordeaux. There it is. Check that. Get her on board. There we go. Right, let's uh, sort out the rest of these guys. That one's good. That one's good. Yeah, Bordeaux. Bordeaux. Got quite a few coming with us on this little trip. They all seem like a pleasant bunch, so we still could be alright. Right, let's be on our way, so we'll close this first of all. We'll jump back on board. Close the doors. Get the announcement on. Hallo und herzlich willkommen bei Flixbus. Wir freuen uns, dass ihr an Bord seid und wir gemeinsam unser heutiges Reiseziel ansteuern. Now, what's going to be a struggle is uh, remembering what the cruise control is. So I'll try and remember as I'm driving. <laughs> we may do it through the menu to begin with. Bevor wir richtig in Fahrt Don't want to press the wrong thing. Auch bei uns im Bus gilt die gesetzliche Anschnallpflicht. Bitte schnallt euch deshalb während der gesamten Fahrt an. In den Sitztaschen. The weather I've got set to dynamic. I don't know whether or not uh, we'll get any changes in weather. Um, along those lines, uh, about transitions in weather, one of the things that's been improved, as I understand it, is the transition between day and night. I haven't done that yet, uh, but apparently that is uh, that's been improved with this patch. So that would be quite nice. I think it used to stutter between day and night previously. So that'll be something to look out for. Um, just looking down the notes that I did get from a few of you guys, the motion burr on the wheels has been fixed. So we can take a look at that. Uh, reflections in puddles. I don't know if we're going to get any rainy weather in this run. Uh, but apparently there are reflections in puddles. So graphically, it seems a lot has been done to this. Um, 
and the graphics quality settings which i mentioned are no longer there everybody's got the same graphics settings going forward and that's meant to be the sweet spot for everybody but we'll test it shall we these mountains look nice by the way we would like to share some information about the journey the wearing of seat belts is compulsory on board the bus Therefore, please keep your this skyline has got some good acceleration, you know. It is quite nice to drive, it's quite big and bulky. So, roads like this one, it's absolutely fine. I mean, we've soon got up to 85 kilometers per hour there. Um, it's the, uh, let's just put the cruise on. There we go. Um, it's in the towns where it's difficult to get round the corners, but as long as you're careful. I do quite like driving this one. Many of our seats are equipped with power outlets which are marked accordingly. If you would like to book okay. this journey while Wouldn't you know it, put the cruise on, we come across a roundabout, so we're not actually on the open road as yet. So let's get out of Beeritz and then uh, hopefully simply visit We can be properly underway. Get in touch with us on Facebook. But this is France, and therefore it wouldn't be France without uh, a toll road. Uh, is the first one. No complaining from the passengers yet. Mind you, we have only just started going, haven't we? There's time yet. Go up to the barrier carefully. Okay, that's strange. Having played Euro Truck for such a while in these last couple of months, I was expecting it to charge us to go through the toll road, but of course it doesn't in Fern Bus. It uh, it lets you through the toll the toll barrier, but it doesn't actually cost you any money. So, oops. Well, you shouldn't be drinking coffee in an open cup on a coach. That's too dangerous. Right, we can do a hundred, apparently, down this road, which is uh, a bit strange. Doesn't look like that much of an open road to me. Anyway, hopefully the motorway's coming up soon. Uh, how far have we got? 190 odd kilometres to go. We should, should soon get through that. come to a stop like it says right I think this is going to be yeah there's the motorway okay good let's just do it nice and easy Just check the mirrors. There we go. Right, let's get up to speed. One thing I did notice in the first run that I did, uh, during this video, just keep your eye on the distant traffic. You see it popping in in the distance. There is, uh, there's a couple of times I did notice in the first run that buses and trucks in the distance would fly into the air. Just keep your eye on that distant scenery. You'll see it occasionally. That, there, there you go. See that? Did you see that? That, that was happening quite a bit the other night when I played it. That's, that, that must have been brought in with this patch because I don't recall seeing that before. It's almost as if uh, something's hit a, a trampoline or something and it's throwing it into the air. It throws it in the air but then disappears as you saw. But you might see that a few times. Um, it was it was repeating itself over and over the other night. It was almost comical. So I don't really know what's going on with that. Um, but, I mean, that's a minor thing. As long as that doesn't happen to the player vehicle. I suppose it's not too much of a, a, a massive problem. Uh, well, it's not happened to me yet anyway. So we'll see. But we should get some good progression here. 170 odd kilometres left to go. Should be a pretty straight run up this coast of France 
We're not right on the coast, but we're pretty close to it. So far, the AI is definitely behaving itself. There's plenty of it as well, as I said. It's only on 75, but it seems it seems pretty busy to me. Um, and I will need to try to push it up to 100 and just see what the difference is. Because that'll be quite interesting. Yeah, add another 25% on top of this. It's going to be really busy, isn't it? Although, you did see it was getting a bit difficult to get out of the depot back in Beeritz. I bet if I had that set to 100 it would have been even worse we may be still waiting to get out of there so I think on, on the motorway like this probably 100% density of traffic is doable uh, it's just the towns where it gets a little bit clogged up anyway I've had it set to 75 pretty much since the beginning um, I found that for me certainly that was the sweet spot uh, look at the flickering in the distance by the way I mean, that's pretty that's pretty severe that that's kind of light coming through the uh, the trees isn't it mixed with the shadow of the trees on the road um I, I really don't think the flickering was that bad before where you could individually uh change the the settings for uh, the assets etc you could dial that up and down as you saw fit but now it's uh, it's the one size fits all so it's it's still pretty good don't get me wrong but I think we could have done an adjustment there anyway let's continue I can hear the passengers yawning we're obviously relaxing which is good oh there goes another truck or bus in front I don't know if you saw that that was on our side of the road this time I've only seen it on the opposite side but that was on our side It is funny because they just disappear. <laughs> they they despawned themselves once they uh, fly through the air, which is quite interesting. So we've got a decent speed going on. I'm at ninety. I've got the cruise on. So oh look at that again on the other side. There they go. Oh that one actually didn't despawn itself. That one bounced back to the ground, and carried on. Um, I did find the cruise button so on the Skyliner you could just press uh, D-pad right and that switches on the uh, the cruise control rather than going through the menu and nearly crashing into the barriers or somebody else on the road um, oh there's another crash there oh a thread in it here Ooh. we shouldn't really be in the middle of the carriageway should we not officially. I should be over at the right, but uh, we're a little bit faster than some of these vehicles. I don't know what you guys think. Have you noticed a massive improvement with this? I can't say I've seen a massive improvement quality-wise. I think it was alright before, for me personally. Um, it ran fine on the PS5. So it's difficult for me, graphics graphics wise, to see just exactly what has been what has been updated or improved. Maybe they wanted to take away the individual settings because all the players were reporting different experiences based on what they had it set to. Maybe this is the most uh, stable way of having it on console. I don't know. Oh, there goes another one on the other side. But, uh, I'm glad the trophies are fixed. That's one good thing that I will get out of this update. Because uh, it was slightly annoying. And there's a lot of mileage related trophies as well. And um, the trophies on the PS5 are using the PS5 system. Which will show you the uh, how, how, much, how many percent you are through a specific trophy to completion. I know Xbox has had that for a while. But um, that, that was new with uh, PS5. The PS4 didn't have that. Um, and it's frustrating to go on long runs in Fernbus and not see the percentage of those mileage trophies increasing 
it is doing now, so that's good. There's not many, I've not unlocked the whole map, you know, but there's not many places uh, I need to go to. I think I've got a couple of bus stops to unlock in northern Germany. So I may head over there next and just try and get everything unlocked. Then I'll just have to scan the map and just see if there's anywhere else that I've missed. I bet there's some individual ones that I've missed. Although I've spent quite a bit of time in the game, just not for a while. I think we've been waiting for updates, haven't we, for quite some time, for various bits and pieces. I'm still secretly hoping as well, by the way, that they also bring an update out for Tourist Bus. I want to get back on Tourist Bus. And the problems I was having with the single player in Tourist Bus actually, you know, it, it, it made me jump out of it for a while, which was quite a shame, because the concept was, was nice. We had Tourist Bus first, of course, on console before we got this. So maybe they'll go back to it. I hope so. How are we doing? We got 87 kilometres to go. Sorry, reading the wrong thing. 74 kilometres to go. We're actually travelling at 87 kilometres per hour. But it shouldn't take us long at all. I think Bordeaux is definitely the last stop in France that I need to unlock. My base, as I recall when I first started playing Fernbus, my base was in Paris, so I did spend quite a bit of time initially in France in the game. Um, and I don't know how you guys play it, but I tried to cover France first before I went anywhere else but then I soon gave up and just kind of you know planned longer routes that went out of France to different countries um, I don't know did you guys work on a specific area of the map and move, you, move yourself across in sort of blocks or sections or did you just did you just take a route that you fancied I think that's the best way to play it just, just pick a trip out depending on how much time you've got to play and just run it I think it's a lot more enjoyable that way. And it is surprising how you get around the map doing it like that as well. Right, so we've got some slow traffic here on the right hand side. We, as I said, we do need to tuck in really, but... I'll be forever stopping and starting and pulling out. It's a little bit dangerous, so... We'll stay this side of it. Take a quick look at the outside view. This is quite a nice livery, this red livery. I was running the green firm bus livery, but I, I edited it just before we started, just to run something a little bit different. Right, I think we can get over. Right at the top, I did mention a new bus pack I saw was released. Uh, £19.99 is the bus pack. Um, I think there's three bus packs out now. The other two do go in the sale occasionally. I haven't got any of those. I've only got the standard buses that came with the game. But um, I know they are quite popular. I, I mean, to me personally, they seem a little bit steep. 20 quid for the bus pack? I don't know. I'm not sure about that. 
I've said it in previous videos for Fernbus that I think if uh, buses and coaches are your thing, then it's probably value for money. But for me personally, I mm, I don't know. I would get them in a sale, perhaps. Um, but I don't think it. I don't think it adds any new. Well, you can't add new routes, can you? Or like on Train Sim World, you get new services, etc., things like that. You still end up with the same map. It doesn't extend the map. I think the map DLCs are pretty good. I think we've only had Denmark so far on um, on console, and that's because Fernbus itself came with all the map DLCs to that date that the PC guys had had to buy separately, so it all got bundled, didn't it? So actually, Fernbus itself on console is good value, isn't it? Um, and if you can get it in a sale as well, if you don't if you don't own it currently, that's even better, isn't it? So you're getting a lot of stuff here that the PC guys have had to buy separately. But bus packs, mm, I'm not sure about that. We've got the grass blowing in the wind, which is quite a nice touch, isn't it? But Bordeaux is just around the corner, 16 kilometres. It looks like we've got to go through this toll barrier. You've got to pull right up to that barrier for it to open. <laughs> you sometimes wonder whether it is going to actually move, but uh, it does do. Take a quick look to the left. I think we're good. Now let's see if this is going to give way. I don't think that white van's giving way. I think he's on the inside of me. The outside of me, I should say. Actually, what did happen to him? I was just looking in the mirror the whole time. I did not see what happened to him. Is that how they've balanced the traffic? If something gets a bit too close, is it just going to disappear? I don't think so, because we did have a light accident earlier on. But that van definitely disappeared then. So we're into the built-up section now of Bordeaux. We're only around the corner from the, uh, the stop six kilometers, which in game distance is, uh, is not far at all. So let me know what you think of this patch. Have you noticed anything that really did stand out? What What is the main item or improvement in the patch that has made a difference to you? I would say, for me personally, the only thing that has affected me is probably the fact that the trophies are now popping. And there is a chance to complete all the trophies. There's no platinum trophy, which is a shame. But at least there is a chance now to get the trophies that are available. So I would say, uh, graphically for me, not a lot's improved. I would argue that it's slightly less better than it was before on the PS5. Uh, so apart from that, the only thing I've noticed is the trophies. So see, look at that flashing there, just under the hill. It goes away as you get closer, but... Anyway, yeah, do let me know what you think about the patch and uh, what the main improvement was for you. Maybe there are a few things that I've not picked up on yet. As I said, I haven't got the official list of patch notes. Uh, I'm going from things that I've observed and uh, a couple of you guys have pinged me and told me uh, one or two of the items that are in the patch. But if it's 7 gig. It's a decent size, isn't it? Oh, and I nearly ran into the back of that uh, that VW there. Right, now where is this stop? I'm going to have to do a really tight turn now in this skyline. Because I'm not following these guys around. I think I've got to go where that red 
red barrier is. Yeah, I do. I have to swing it right around. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to get the front end swung around. I'm wondering actually if this is the correct way in. Am I going in through the exit? Because there is an arrow there to my left. Look. Do I get in there and I do a right? Well, anyway, let's see if it registered. Actually, the buses on my right are actually pointing the same direction as me, so I could be all right. I might be all right. So there's Bordeaux, unlocked. Get the doors open, then everybody can get off. We'll get the luggage out. There we are with the free fern bus bags, it looks like. Right, so there we are. So that's the end of the trip. Just a short run there from Biarritz up to Bordeaux. We've got Bordeaux uh, completed now, so that's good. Uh, we'll have a quick look at the points I think before we go but I think uh, we were okay everything's green on there plenty of green I think we just had the one light accident yeah there it is so hope you've enjoyed it let me know what you think about the patch take care and I'll see you in the next one bye for now